confidence. So I thought in the, in, in the absence of that person, what I did is I've taken all of the social media, news media, TV, radio, and compiled it into a poem called A Poem to Mark the January 2011 <laughs> Yorkshire Earthquake. Okay. At the epicenter, some china rattled. <laughs> I mean, you could almost leave the poem there, actually. <laughs> Decided, I, this, is, this is for Yorkshire. They, <laughs> at the epicenter, some china rattled, but nothing was reported to fall. Some people said it sounded like an outside door shutting. <laughs> but others, particularly those listening to the radio, allegedly heard nothing at all. <laughs> A toilet seat quivered momentarily. The sensation was described as odd. Someone said it sounded like a small lorry going past. And this very minor act of God. A rumble in Ripley, a tremble in Burley, but nothing in Farley or Horsforth, but definitely in Pudsey and Farsley and several other places a little further north. In Leeds, LS6 and LS27, certainly L18, but nothing in LS4 or L9, and a little bit in L19 and 17. Nobody felt any discomfort. Eyebrows were raised, that was clear. Experts from the Royal Geological Survey claimed that there was nothing unusual about it and there were more than 14,500 quakes of a similar magnitude occurring globally every year. It was the most powerful earthquake in the area since 1780, but at 3.5 on the Richter scale it could be no way described as bad. The seismologist suggested that people shouldn't panic. Quite luckily, nobody had.